Here we go. After you finish phase three and you're officially ready to go into your department, phase four is your first job. So I went deck. So the entry level position for the deck department is an OS. A month after completing third phase, they found me a ship and yeah, I was gonna be on there for 120 days, 120, 125 days you have to do in order to come back to do phase five. You have to do those 120 or 125, something like that. But anyway, phase four. I was going to be signing on to what's called a coastwise tanker, which pretty much means we're going to be jumping around from U.S. port to U.S. port. And from what I heard, this ship primarily stayed in the Gulf of Mexico. Oh, shit. The next morning, we began our transit down the Mississippi River towards the Gulf of Mexico. As we went outbound down the river, I had the responsibility of bow lookout. I wasn't complaining. I had the bow all to myself. It was just me, the wind, the sounds of the water, the scenery. Don't get me wrong, I called out all the contacts I saw. It was just nice to reflect on the fact that I was finally sailing as a real merchant mariner. We're heading to Port Everglades, aka Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I've never been, but boy oh boy, the crew was sure excited to go. And to add to all the excitement, the good Lord decided to keep salt and pepper together. TJ followed me over from Piney Point. We were going to be sailing together for all of phase four. He was in the engine room, now I was on deck. While underway, I was a day worker. And being an OS, that meant I was low man on a totem pole. Pretty much all day was cleaning and maintenance. But I didn't mind. It was just nice to be at sea. After tying up in poor Everglades, I had six hours to myself. So, got off the ship and walked over to the beach. I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty nice having a beach vacation for lunch. Even though there was a constant reminder that I had to eventually go back to work.
for the next couple months, that's what the job was going to be. A couple days at sea, a couple days in port, bouncing around the Gulf, moving product from one port to another. Before we got to Corpus, we started hearing some scuttlebutt or rumors around the ship that we may be switching cargo to crude oil. And sure enough, we would now be shuttling oil to the Loop, also known as Louisiana Offshore Oil Port. The Loop is an amazing piece of American infrastructure. Um, it stores and distributes millions of barrels of oil. But as far as going there as a sailor, it's pretty wild. The loop is located almost 100 miles offshore. When you go there to discharge, you have to moor to a buoy and then connect two gigantic hoses to discharge to. The whole operation is awesome to say the least. But the hardest part about discharging at the loop was that we were shuttling product from Texas. And from pilot to pilot, I believe it was a day or two, maybe. So having a sleep pattern was a thing of the past. I couldn't make this video without giving a shout out to my shipmate Brandon. You ask him about a ship, He'll tell you where it's been, where it's going, what's the cargo. The dude's like an SIU guru. Thanks for all the help and all the pointers. Hope you're doing good, brother. After running cargo to the loop for a couple weeks, we heard the route was changing again. This time, we we're leaving the Gulf and heading north to Philly. Considering we spent the entire fall and most of the winter in the warm climate of the Gulf no one was looking forward to going to the cold frigid Northeast except me of course because my contract would finally be up ever since we passed Florida it gets colder and colder every day it's kind of cool We found ways to keep busy inside as the weather started to turn, but further north we went, the worse the weather got. Hey 
came back from lunch and drawers are open. All my stuff fell off the shelf. Bathroom got all messed up. As we began to transit a frozen Delaware River, I couldn't help but look back on the voyage. I felt pretty lucky having a coastwise tanker for my phase four ship. I can see why a lot of guys like to sail on these coastwise ships. Sure, you're not going to exotic ports or foreign places. You're working in America's backyard, our backyard. And there's something nice about that. And as far as my first job as a merchant mariner, I thought I knew everything coming out of school. But I quickly learned that wasn't the case. This ship and its crew taught me so much. And to be honest, every new ship I go on, I learn something new. The day I stop learning, well, hopefully I'll be in the ground or in Davy Jones's locker.